Hey guys, it's Leverdo one here, back for a thousand subscriber special. Just want to thank all of you for following me. I got like 94 subscribers in the last month, so that's a nice feeling. So today we're going to be doing nothing special, but I suppose an upload is special these days for me. But you know, just be creating a solar system and chilling for 15-20 minutes. Oh, we'll start star. Also worth noting is that there has been what seems to be a rather big update for Universe Sandbox, which is a title update, which means that the title forces planets should be a bit better, and I assume that the temperature systems are also a little better, and this planet actually might be a little close. So we will hopefully get to check that out as well. So we will start by, we'll keep it simple, we'll just start with a gas giant, put some quirky stuff around there, see what happens. We've got Froby, which for the first time is actually a not horrible name. Let's see. I'm going to start by the composition, I don't understand why form these things. When I read the textbooks, not like I have in a while, but when you read uh, astronomy books, I tend to say that the gas giants are like 90, 95, something like that, percent uh, hydrogen, at least for Jupiter and Saturn. It could be different for Uranus and Neptune, but it's weird how they always make these like five, seven Earth masses. It's a little questionable in my book. Let's see, we want to change the motion. It's actually, that obliquity is terrible, but like, I don't know, I kind of like having some of the point of the star just for simplicity's sake. Let's see, we can take that off. I like more. Okay. That's nice. Take the grid off too. Actually, the grid will keep on for the moment. I'm gonna start making a pretty nice gas giant system. Appearance. Let's actually change up some of these colors. Maybe give it a little bit of a green look to it. Maybe not super harsh, but just. I don't know about sickly yellow, but like, eh, yeah, that's nice, that's nice. Sort of a noxious planet. Then we'll change this up. here and then though I don't like how that white looks too much now we'll make this pole green something mysterious going on with that I'm going back on the green thing, I kind of want it a little lighter. There we go. It's a cool looking planet. I want some more storms and stuff on these things, like, you don't see any great red spot or great blue spot type of stuff in the game right now. That's unfortunate in my opinion. Let's see, rotational period, 1.71 days. Yeah, that seems fine. This add just a few asteroids to start relatively close in just for visual effect I suppose you can even add a small moon here oh, that feels very small who cares about the Roche limit just put one like right there 
and put something slightly off the plane. Wait, hold on, I didn't realize it was doing whole size moons. Oh well, that's fine. Man, I just realized how big this planet is. It's crazy. Okay. Do we want a whole rocky planet around this? I think we can do like one. Any more than that, and it's gets kind of questionable. How big is this? Uh, let's look at Earth. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, that seems fair. First, before we edit stuff, I want to see if this system is stable. So we'll run it a few days. Right, these orbits seem kind of wacky to me. Yeah, this is not going great. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. This planet is going to collide. This moon, rather, is going to collide with its host planet soon enough. Oh, it's already collided with a few moons. That's great. And it's... Yep. Yeah, that didn't go great. It's fine. rest of the system pretty stable? Seems like you got a moon or two that threaten to escape. The rest don't seem too bad. Let's take a look at these boys. That's a cool looking moon. I think the asteroids look a lot better these days. I think we're going to try to leave this... No, we're not leaving this planet. How big is a star, by the way? 116 Jupiters would need to crank this up. Hope this doesn't supernova it. Um, well, we're also going to need to increase the speed a little bit. exactly how the physics work, but if we also, nope, um, we'll half it, half it, maybe, yeah, this isn't going too well, um, that's a dang shame, and it's way too close to it, so it's start. Okay, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna save this object, uh, yeah, Froby. So I kinda like this. It's funny, if you look at some of the other stuff I've saved right now, includes Mars with an atmosphere at the mass of the Earth. I was uh, very confused when the planet kept uh, igniting. But let's look at same objects. Oh, it's gone. Huh? Anyhow, I'm gonna put it in the habitable zone because I got a soft spot for. Oh no, soft spot for habitable planets. So we're gonna put this right here. Froby. That was a nice little green planet. Blue greenish, yeah. Now we are going to add a rocky planet. We're gonna do it a little closer. Let's see. Boy, this is a big planet. Never find the atmosphere. Uh, 
here we go, atmosphere. Wait. Earth ATM, that's what we need. Uh, we'll double it, see how that helps. And yeah, Celsius is fine, we'll take a look at that. Speed it up a bit. And it'll get, we'll warm up eventually. I like doing it naturally, even though I could set up it exactly to the temperature we want, because no idea if it would stay that way. So that might be going a little bit overboard. Um, if we half it, how does that affect things? Is it just heating up because of tidal forces? I don't think that's very realistic. Do I know? And this good looking planet though, look at that. Alright, maybe we won't. Maybe we'll keep it like this and just pretend that the. I'm a hypocrite, but it's fine. I want this planet to be nice and cozy. Suppose the atmosphere that works for Earth might not be the one this planet needs. Oh well, it is pretty though, look at that. But then, we are going to add a few random moons. Like that, and we'll set one up with a quirkity. Yeah, you heard me right, quirkity. Orbital period. Not orbital period, there's nothing quirky about that. It's just the inclination that's a little weird. Another water world. Cool. It's got an interesting texture. I don't know if that's ice or... Yep. Yeah, it's ice. <laughs> got a rocky moon here. And then we got this moon. Let's look at the temperature because that's probably going up. Yeah, it's going up. Slowly but surely. This moon is affected by tidal forces. At least that's what I think. Alright, probably time to cut off the habitable view and the grid. Let's also throw in a few asteroids. Or even some small moons. I think that's about all we'll be doing in terms of adding to this. Let's see we got this little boy. Got a little bit of water. Maybe that's ice. It's weird looking ice. Maybe it hasn't frozen over quite yet. No temperature data, what are you on? Alright. Got an ice ball here. Got a pretty cool surface. What else we got? got? Another ice ball or rock ball. Cool, cool appearance. This is Tummin. Tummin's coming to town. Pretty normal. Erna. Reminds me of the Pluto or Karen aesthetic. And Vidya, yep. And here's our asteroids.
And these poles kind of bother me because there's always something weird going on with them, but other than that, I love looking at the asteroids in this. Pisk. It's got blue. It looks like a blueberry. I haven't seen anything like that before. Yeah, that's quite nice. So yeah, I think that's about all that we're gonna do here. Want to thank all of you for getting me to a thousand subscribers, which is pretty neat for a channel that I started in middle school and have not uploaded consistently for in about a year or so. And I also want to know, are you people interested in me branching out into other topics? I've developed some other hobbies like D&D, game design, even some other space games space applications. Like I found this uh, one program on Steam that allows you to make planets. It's pretty cool. I might make a video about it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more. Lever to one, signing out.